All right, so today I'm gonna to be making this video for you guys to go over my experience so far with the home all gaming chair. That's that chair right there. <laughs> uh, eight months later, I believe it's somewhere around that eight months uh, to let you guys know how it's holding up. Some of the concerns that I had uh, going into purchasing the, uh, the chair, if they've come true, if they have not, uh, I wanna go ahead and talk to you guys about that and uh, hopefully give you some more clarity if you're thinking about buying this chair. All right, cue the intro. Do do do, do do do, do do do, Ozzy's tech and stuff, yeah. Okay, before I get started, I wanna go ahead and uh, remind these new viewers that if you have not seen my unboxing and initial uh, review of it uh, that I did about eight months ago. I'll go ahead and link it. I think it's on this side or this side. I'll go ahead and link it somewhere up there so you guys can check it out. Um, I highly recommend you watching that video before you watch this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and go over some of the things that uh, I had concerns with when buying the chair for this video and uh, if they actually came true. First things first, I wanna go ahead and uh, address one of the biggest concerns I had with this chair was the leather or the fake leather that they use, uh, if it was gonna get hot, if it was going to crack or fade over time. And um, actually it has not, it has held up pretty well. I don't know what kind of black magic, Harry Potter wizard spells they're using, but this leather actually does not get hot and uh, I do not sweat in this chair. Compared to the previous gaming chair that I had, uh, my back and my legs were always sweaty. I don't know what kind of leather they use on that, but I was trying and hoping that they avoided it for this chair right here. And uh, good news is it does not get me hot. The next concern that I had was the headrest here. Was it going to um, show some of my the oils in my head or in my neck? Uh, my previous gaming chair, all the oils just kind of uh, got on the on the headrest and it looked really nasty and I was hoping that this one did not happen um, I promise you these are the natural oils in my hair I don't have like oily hair to the extreme or anything like that I, I do wash my head <laughs> but I'm happy to say that uh, it has held up pretty well it does not show any type of oil um, residue or even the the white part here the s racer uh, stitching uh, still white still intact uh, that was a concern that I had that it would kind of start to fade or or get dirty over time it's still pretty good holding up really well going further down on the chair the next uh, concern that I had was the lumbar uh, support cushion now I was afraid that this would be very cheaply made and kind of uh, degrade over time if the if the leather would kind of degrade on it if the cushion itself would and the answer is yes and no the late the leather is still intact but the cushion has formed more like this u cushion look to it to conform to my back which isn't necessarily a bad thing uh it actually supports my back really well now it's not a huge negative but it has degraded a little bit the interior cushion uh, inside of the actual cushion itself. Now, as far as the rumble feature, yes, this cushion does come with a massager. It basically is a three set rumble, uh, one being the lowest, three being the highest. Uh, that still works. I've, to be honest with you, I've only used it like two or three times since I got this chair. Uh, I'm not the best massager in the world, uh, but it will get the job done if you're having lower back pains or anything like that and you wanna massage it. Uh, it will get the job done. Please keep in mind that at its highest setting, it is really noisy. So if you got people in the room, you wanna might let them know or maybe take the chair somewhere else or something like that. Next, let's go over one of my biggest concerns that I had were the armrests. The armrests do not move anywhere. They're stationed. They don't go up or down, forward, back, anything like that. And they're held on to two screws on each armrest and I was afraid that they would, you know, get loose over time as my previous gaming chair, those armrests got loose over time. So I was afraid that it might happen to these. And I'm happy to say that it has not happened at all. The armrests, I use them every single day, put my elbows on it to work on my computer. Uh, when I'm gaming, I put my elbows on it to hold the controller and I use these all the time and they've stayed the same since day one. So I'm very, very happy with Hallmall. 
the way they've done these uh, armrests and that they have not degraded over time. Good job. All right, moving a little bit further on the chair, the cushion on your butt. <laughs> uh, it's unavoidable, but the cushion uh, where you sit on has degraded a little bit. Uh, the leather is still good, has not cracked, has not faded or anything like that. I'm strictly talking about the cushion in the seat itself. It definitely is less cushioner, cushy, cushiony. I, I don't know, just pick the best word you wanna go with if they even are a word, but it definitely is less of that. Uh, not to the point where I'm sitting on any type of frames or anything like that. There is still cushion on it, but it has degraded a little bit. I do sit on this chair for over 10 to 12 hours a day, whether it's working from home or or I even sit there like even after I'm done, if I'm watching TV or if I'm on the computer, I'm still sitting on this chair. So I'm using it a lot and uh, it's kind of understandable that it, the, it has degraded a little bit, but um, it kind of sucks because I was hoping that it would hold up just a little bit more. But as far as like zero to 100, 100 being day one, it, I want to say it has degraded maybe 20 to 30% as far as the cushion in the actual chair itself. So I might have to get one of those uh, seat cushions that you see on Amazon um, in maybe about a year or so to prolong the life of this chair okay this next one is sort of sort of a con for some people for me it's not a big deal but it's the reclining of the chair the chair does not recline all the way flat i know that there are some gaming chairs out there that do decline all the way flat and some people might see that as a big deal i personally don't see it as a big deal uh, but it does not lay all the way flat and I was concerned that it might bother me or maybe I would want a scenario where it lays all the way flat, but it has not bothered me in the slightest. Uh, I don't plan of sleeping on my chair or anything like that. I have my bed for that. Uh, but if you do need the chair to lay flat, that might be a big deal for you. And on that same topic, if you're going to be reclining it and putting it back up, the chair, the leathers, uh, when they when they rub together, they do make a lot of noise. So if you're some person that constantly is uh, adjusting it that's gonna make some noise and the chair not sh not sure if you can hear it but it does make a little bit of noise not anything crazy but it does make some noise and on to the second most uh, thing that I was worried about on this chair is the footrest for one I was worried that my legs would get sweaty where I'm putting my foot on the rest itself. I thought that the leather again was gonna crack or fade or anything like that. And I am supremely excited to say that it has, none of that has come true. The footrest still the same. The cushion has degraded maybe a little bit cause I do use this kind of on a daily, but nothing to the extreme. I, like I said, I use this almost every day when I'm, when I'm relaxing, watching TV. I, pull the footrest out and put my feet on top of it. And let me tell you, it's so much more comfy than putting your feet on a garbage can like I had to do before or at the edge of my of my bed. Loving it so far and hopefully it stays this way and doesn't degrade over time. And the final item on this chair that I want to talk to you guys about is the uh, wheels on the actual chair itself. It's kind of standard, but they don't roll like day one, obviously, because they're going to accumulate dust and debris and all that stuff in the wheels. So I would uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you now B-roll before I clean them. Actually, uh, these wheels here, they do get dust and debris on them. So I would say periodically every couple of months, go ahead and clean them so that the wheels uh, stay rolling or Maybe if you don't want the chair to roll so much uh, and maybe this accumulation of dust or whatever, it's going to help you, the chair not moving around so much. So it's kind of a personal preference if you actually want that. But I just thought I would throw that out that, yeah, they do accumulate all that dust and you got to clean them if you want to keep them, you know, still rolling. So I must say my overall experience with this chair has been awesome. Out of uh, one to ten, it has been a nine point five. Uh, the only major issue I have with it is the seat cushion that has degraded a bit by 20 to 30 percent. It's not as, as fluffy. It's not as, as comfortable. Um, I used to be able to sit on this chair for, you know, eight hours a day and, and I'd still be good. And now, at you know, maybe four or five hours, I start to get 
restless and i do get up periodically to use the restroom and to get food and to walk around and stuff like that so uh, you shouldn't be sitting on a chair for eight hours non-stop anyway so but that's the one major negative that i have on this chair that um it's pretty much a given unless you get some of the more expensive chairs that have higher grade of cushion uh but for this price range in between 100 and 150 dollars this gaming chair uh is awesome i mean it does everything i want it to uh it's got the neck pillow that i use on the daily it's got the lumbar pillow that i use on the daily reclines the way i need it to the footrest is a major game changer um, and I remember when I was going to buy this chair, I was either debating the black and white hall mall gaming chair or this chair. But what made me pick this one was the footrest and this one was like $20 more expensive. So I feel like I made the right choice. The armrests stay and they don't move around. Um, it's actually, I'm loving it. I really enjoy this chair and I don't see myself getting another chair anytime soon unless something really, really ridiculous comes along that I need to have that at a good affordable price. So that has been uh, this video. I hope I was able to answer some of you guys' questions. Again, check out my initial homo gaming chair uh, review, or I guess this is also a S racing chair. That's what they call it. Or my unboxing video to see if, uh, if this chair is for you. If you like this video, guys, help me out with the like. Um, also consider subscribing to my channel as you will get more videos like these tech gaming videos in the future and if you have any questions on this chair don't be shy to fire it off in the comment section below i try my best to answer any legitimate questions i get um, on my channel uh, i do get the notifications on my phone and everything like that so i'll try my best to answer um, your questions so don't be shy guys fire it off below all right guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and i'll catch you on the next one peace